Callum, it's Thursday, different location this week. I'm going to give you five questions, all beginning with L. Locations, okay. locations one there, yeah, you just give me that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, looking back, Reef Rovers game, what's your views now? Yeah, it's not probably exactly the same as uh, I thought in, uh, after the game. Uh, watched the game back, had you know ideas about it, I thought. Uh, first ten minutes probably not they were good. they were put us under pressure for probably our mistakes in the last ten minutes and then Cam pulled off a couple of great saves in the last ten minutes to, to help us in between that we had probably most of the ball but we didn't really hurt them so all, all that is there's a lot of good stuff but this that final third bit where we need to get better at and you know uh, create more chances and try and score more goals to win the game. Good. Second question location now back at Lock Inch is this your first week working here? Was that a double L was it? <laughs> double L. Uh, no we've, I've worked here before. You know, uh, it's obviously lovely. You know, there's no place to do interviews apart from outside in the rain. So, uh, you know, yeah, no, I was here my first week. Uh, again, it's a, a work in progress. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. The Astros pitch is absolutely fantastic. They've laid for us. I think it would be great for the younger players uh, right through the academy. You know, it would be really good for them to come in here and have this facility to train on. So, uh, you know, I'll credit them. new floodlights are in as well, which are really good. So, a lot of good things. Uh, things happen all the time. So, uh, really looking forward to the, the next probably 18 months, you know, how it's going to develop. Excellent. Let's talk about Lennon Colley. New contract this week? Yep, you know, I think it's uh, it's really important we, we, we tie some, some of these good young players up. Lennon's obviously still a young man. Uh, he's got a fantastic opportunity. Uh, and all I do say to these young guys is it's opportunities, you know, and they've got to grasp them. They've got to, they've got to force their way uh, into certain situations. Uh, they'll get chances. Uh, but they're going to have to earn the chance first and I think it's a great opportunity for him. Uh, he's a good young player, we, we rate him highly and, and hopefully uh, we can see him involved in the, in the first team in the near future. The second deal they got a new contract this week, Liam McLeish, who has featured quite a few times for you. Yeah, delighted, you know, I think it's, it's one of those players when I first came into the building he wasn't, he was injured. Uh, you know, I've watched bits of him uh, before, uh, quite excited to see him and I think you know, the more I've seen him, the more I like him. You know, he's got a fantastic attitude. Uh, his knowledge is getting better, I think. Really important that he plays different systems. He doesn't just stick to one system as a striker. Uh, I think he's need to, there's a lot of things he has to learn and get better. But, you know, what you're saying, I talked about Lennon there about uh, trying to get opportunities. Uh, Liam does the things right to get opportunities. Uh, and hopefully, you know, he's got an exciting future ahead of him. He will be part of the first team plans going forward. He will get opportunities to play. So, uh, hopefully, Liam can. You know, do what he's doing in the training pitch in, in the games he's played, uh, especially the reserve games, uh, and then hopefully he can then uh, stake a, a claim for a place in the team. We checked this morning, he has been given the second goal from midweek. Although he was claiming for, <laughs> he was he was for a corner, I believe. He was for a corner. It's amazing how strikers change their mind pretty quickly, yeah. <laughs> okay. Final question with Anel, looking forward, here United. Yeah, I know, tough game. Uh, I think we see this every week, tough games. You know, I think... Uh, Everybody's form, you know, I think we all have games we win uh, at the moment. Uh, we've also drawn a lot of games lately and uh, we'd like to turn that into a victory. I think performance levels have been good. Uh, we'll give ourselves, what I'm really pleased about is we're giving ourselves opportunities in games to win them. Uh, so hopefully we can go Saturday and do that. It's a tough place to go. I uh, quite enjoy going down there, you know, so really looking forward to that. And, and hopefully we can put a, again a performance, but then hopefully... You know, if you ask me if we play rubbish and we win, get three points, you know, probably take that as well. So, uh, I'm obviously a manager, I want, to, I want the best uh, from both, but uh, I think it's really important that you know, we've got a, a certain way we play now. Uh, I think the lads you know, are performing well. I think we could mean things we can do better, as I've talked about, but we're working really hard to do those. And, you know, all I ask for the players is, is give me everything you've got. You know, if you do that every Saturday, you know, then I can't ask for any more than that. And since I've been here, I've got that. Uh, so, I'm really delighted with that and just want that. Wanting to get better, wanting that lot of quality, uh, especially in the final third, even defensively, uh, to be better. And if we can do that, then hopefully we can get the result. One final question, without an L in it, uh, in squad news, how's everybody? Yeah, I think we've got a few, we've got a few wee niggles just now. Uh, I think we've obviously jumped surfaces a little bit uh, back at Lockinch. You know, it's quite hard sometimes. We're Astro Grass, Astro different Astro. You know, so I think we just got to make sure we manage them all, and hopefully they can they can all be available for uh, Saturday. Calm. Good luck. Cheers, thank you.